a very warm greetings to all so today we will study chapter number 2 of your computer textbook that is technology in the community so let's see the uh, today's topic so first topic we will study is use of technology in the community secondly we will see that demonstrating the use of technology tools third we will see the negative impacts of the computers on environment then reducing negative effects of computers and computer use on the environment and lastly we will see the creating a component from a disposed hard disk drive that is hdd so coming to our uh, first topic that is use of technology in the community so the first use we do in our surrounding is that internet we all have an um, access on internet so this is a group of computer networks connected worldwide to share information you can just share this information download this information whatever you want to post you can do the all these functions with the help of internet secondly there is word processing applications these are computer programs which are used to create edit and format document files the file can be saved on your computing device with the extension .doc or .docx third there is a spreadsheet application which is a type of a computer program that is used in performing calculations and analyzing numerical data in a table form next there is a presentation program that is a kind of a software used in displaying data or information in slides it can be used between students and teachers as a teaching and learning tool and within the work environment to deliver information during meetings with staff members then the here is electronic databases these databases is the assemblage of organized data and information digitally now sixth there is a artificial intelligence or we can say it ai uh, it is a kind of a science and engineering ways of creating intelligent machines controlled by a computerized system artificial intelligence makes such machine perform activity just like human beings uh, here is an example of siri as if you are an apple phone user you have a, an access on the siri which is a kind of an artificial intelligence coming to the next uh, topic that is demonstrating the use of a technology tools first of all we will see the basic definition so ms powerpoint is a presentation application software which is used to designing uh, professional presentations and uh, these presentations are uh, as we have seen we can use it in between the teacher and student or we can use it in the office environment work too so let us take a closer look at the microsoft powerpoint presentation software so first is uh, we have to just open powerpoint 2016 to launch the powerpoint presentation software we have to follow some steps which we are going to study so step number 1 is click on start button then on powerpoint step 2 is click on blank presentation a presentation window appears after uh, clicking on a blank presentation uh, which name will be as presentation 1 now we have to uh, for creating a new presentation we have to follow some more step that is step 1 we have to click on file then on new option and step 2 then we have to click on blank presentation or any kind of template you want as per your choice and a new blank presentation will open if you click on blank presentation or a new blank template will open if you click on any template coming to the next that is how we can add objects in a slide so for this uh, we have to just click in the place holder and a cursor will appear type pick the text also we have to uh, click outside the place holder after typing the text for adding pictures now if we see the steps so first we have to click the option of pictures and then click on okay button secondly we have to click on online pictures and insert pictures dialog box which allow you to select the picture from internet and add into the slide then how to insert a table in a slide so step 1 click on insert tab then step 2 click on drop down arrow of table option and then step 3 you have to hover the mouse over the grid to select number of rows and columns whatever you want now we will see how to insert a new slide so for this adding a new slide we have to right click on the mini slide displayed at the left side of the navigation pane then from the menu that will be displayed select new slide now how we can delete an existing slide so for this 
we have to just right click on that slide at the left side on the navigation pane and we have to just click on the delete option from the menu that will be displayed coming to the next one that is slideshow how we can activate the presentation in the slideshow so it is a kind of option which activate or place the slide uh, of a particular presentation after it has been created as i told you uh, so what are the steps first you have to click on the slide show tab then secondly you have to uh, from slide menu uh, slide show tab you have to just click on from beginning now coming to the next one what are the benefits of using presentation software uh, by studying all these thing and using all these thing what are the basic benefits you get by using this kind of presentation software so first one you have uh, you will have a basic knowledge adding multimedia or whatever kind uh, you want to add in your ppt and also you can just make a better understanding of the topic uh, secondly you can create notes third you can easily uh, easily edit whatever you want to edit in a presentation then it is a kind of teaching learning material also a uh, teacher can explain through the presentation so you will have a better understanding of the chapters fifth you can gain self confidence also by uh, creating a presentation and uh, performing it in front of uh, everyone now we will study about the next topic that is demonstrating the use of spreadsheet software so in that first of all we will see about microsoft excel and how to open it and uh, we will see about this in brief so open an excel program microsoft excel is a kind of a spreadsheet programming used in performing calculations and analyzing numerical data in a table form uh, so there was a basic definition of a microsoft excel so now we will see how we can open it and use it so first step is to click on start and then click the option of excel secondly you will uh, you have to click on a blank presentation then we will see about how to create a new workbook so for this we will uh, see uh, first the basic definition of a workbook then we will see the steps involved in opening it so a workbook is a spreadsheet file or document containing worksheets so we will see the steps how we can have an access on it so step 1 is you have to click on file and then select the option of view secondly you have to click on blank workbook now we will see about entering data and time that how we can enter data or time in a ms excel so there are some keys by which we can uh, just add the data and all so for control plus uh, a kind of sign you can uh, see on the screen so for this we, we can insert the current date secondly by uh, clicking on control plus shift plus one sign by this we can uh, insert the current time and then by using equal to sign then writing today and then using the bracket we can just display the current date and uh, by uh, using the equal sign uh, typing now and using the bracket we can display current date and time both now how we can use formula in a ms excel so a formula is a mathematical calculation in spreadsheet application in spreadsheet formula can perform mathematical operation whatever mathematical operation you want to proceed you have to use some formulas which we will study in it so like addition multiplication division comparison they all are they all are just uh, have access by using the formulas so a formula can be typed into a formula bar or in a particular cell formula always starts with an equal sign now coming to the next part that is benefits of using spreadsheet program did what kind of benefits we can get after using the spreadsheet program first of all they are readily available secondly they improves the data organization whatever data you want to uh, organize they just improve that data organization third collaborative data entry they just uh, collaborate with the data entry fourth dynamic calculation with built in formulas whatever kind of calculation you want to uh, do you can uh, have it by using some of for some set of formulas fifth preset function sixth graphic and visual aids and the last they have useful formatting now how we can uh, use the scratch program coming to our uh, major topic that is demonstrating the use of a scratch software so how we can just open it and use it we will study it in brief so opening a scratch program first step is to click on start button 
then you have to select the scratch desktop option then how you can just uh, use uh, scratch and all what are kind of blocks are present in scratch how you can just proceed it we will study it in brief first of all we will see the types of blocks so there is a motion block uh, which is comprises of the uh, slots uh, used to move a sprite secondly there is a looks block so looks block helps to edit the appearance of the sprite third a sound block which is used to record upload and edit the sound then there is a variables block uh, which controls all variables and list and then there is a events block which triggers scripts to run then there is a control block which controls all loops and other blocks then there is a sensing block which helps you to identify what happens at a particular time and makes the sprites or background respond then there is a operators block uh, which contain mathematical and boolean operators and then there is some more blocks more blocks option which has many functions and extensions now coming to the topic how we can move a sprite so you can see the figure that how you can move a sprite how you can have access on moving a sprite you can just go through it coming to the next topic that how we can add an extension so first step is to click on add extension button then second you have to click on pen extension from choose an extension box third a pen extension will be added in the code block now how you can save these projects so first you have to click on file then you have to save to your computer option then step 2 you have to just uh, name that file you have to type the name of the file and the text box uh, then step 3 you have to just click on the save button now coming to the next that is opening an existing project at how you can open that existing project so first step is to click on file then you have to click on load from your computer option then step 2 you have to name the file whatever you want to and uh, select it and then step 3 is to click on open button now what are the uh, benefits of using scratch we have studied how we can use the scratch option but what are the benefits we get by using it so it integrate creativity secondly it develop logical thinking third it is easy to grasp and last it uh, inauguration to the programming it just provide the inauguration to the programming so now we will study what are the negative impacts of computers on environment so uh, first uh, negative impact is electrical strain so an average pc uses 746 kilowatts of power each year which in turn puts strain on the amount of power needing to be generated and used across the world secondly there is a uh, energy based uh, too so how it is so when electric energy is produced it leads to pollution and emissions it also contributes to millions of tons of greenhouse gases that are emitted into the atmosphere and which are very harmful uh, it also affects the life of living beings and plants uh, which is very bad uh, this greenhouse degradation is partially responsible for global climate change too then manufacturing of computers so during the manufacturing of the computers a huge amount of fossil fuels and chemicals are needed a solo computer requires chemical and uh, pollutants which are 10 times their weight uh, which causes the expelling of harmful chemicals and the pollutants which just harm the living beings of the plants and uh, animals too now coming to the next one so uh, the next impact uh, bad impact is landfill waste so discarded computers and whatever the electronic waste which we uh, discard it causes the landfill waste computer system carries metals such as lead and lead and toxic chemicals and their wastage is sent to landfills overseas so these tend to degrade the soil uh, and soil quality which just uh, create the uh, kind of a pollution and give a bad impact to the environment then coming to the electronic waste also known as e waste so it contributes a lot to contaminated air when they are disposed of informally when whenever they are disposed just they contaminate the uh, air quality index and all uh, also uh, by uh, shredding melting and uh, just burning these kind of things uh, the dust particles also harm the life of plants animals and the quality of water too we will discuss the topic reducing negative effects of computers and computer use on the environment as we have seen 
the uh, negative impacts of the computer on the environment now we will see what how can we reduce it so firstly we should conserve paper when printing and try reading and sharing information electronically rather than using hard copies we can just share the information electronically or digitally rather than rather than using the hard copy or using any kind of paper uh, then secondly turn on classroom projectors only when required then leaving them on constantly whenever you required uh, of projector you should on at that time only third all electronic waste from home workplace or school should be sent to the waste management district or find e waste collector who collects e waste for recycling then electro electronic waste such as computers mobile phones laptops etc they can be uh, di uh, distrib distributed for reuse then various recyclers disassemble the electronic system and use their parts as the secondary raw material which are used in manufacturing other things now we will see creating a component from a disposed hard disk drive hdd so how can we create a component from the hdd first of all take an old hdd and disassemble it then in the disassembled case you will see the plate and arm and two metal object which are magnets that move the arm then just rip off the arm and take out the magnets unscrew the plate of the motor then take a sandpaper and cut it to the shape of the motor then place the cut out on the monitor then your mini grinder is ready plug it into the power supply and see how it works now as we are uh, we have end this chapter you have to revise all the concept whatever you have studied in this chapter as your homework so thank you we will meet you soon in the next lecture